Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to set up uh, and complete uh, electron configuration. And this will be a very basic introductory video. Okay, first rule of thumb. Electrons will occupy the orbitals having lower energies before occupying higher energy orbitals. Okay, and so they occupy the orbitals like this, 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, etc. Now the orbitals are s, p, d, and f, and this is short for sharp, principal, diffuse, fundamental. Okay, s can hold up to 2, p can hold up to 6, and please notice it goes up by 4. D is 10, and then F is 14. So you're going to start at S and move forward. Now you can convert this uh, string into a nice chart. So let's get started with carbon 6. Okay, Carbon 6, since it's an atom, it has an atomic number of 6, so it's going to have 6 electrons. Okay, So first you can draw this chart, 1S, Okay, and then we have the next level, 2s, 2p, then we go 3s, 3p, 3d, and then we can go 4 if you need it, 4s, 4p, 4d, and then 4f. Okay, so now let's get started, started with carbon. We have 6 electrons, so we're going to start here. And we're going to draw an arrow in this direction. So we're going to have 1s, and remember s can hold up to 2. It's going to be 1s2. Now we have, we start at the second energy level, draw an arrow like this. We now have 2s2. Remember we're getting to 6, right now we have 4. So we're going to go to 2p. And... Since it only has six electrons, you're only going to have two right there. So at ground state, it looks like this. Now, if you would like, if you need to know how many electrons are in each energy level, we know energy level one, we're going to have two. Energy level two, we're going to have four. And then in addition, if you want to or need to draw a Bohr's model, a Bohr model, then we have this. Notice that we have the 2s2 here. Notice that they are labeled s. And then we go to energy level 2. We have two s's here. And then we have two p's there. So there's the model. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, here's your next example. We're going to do silicon. Remember, these go up to... 4, 10, 14. Remember, they go up by uh, 4 each time. And excuse me, this is not a 4. This is a 6. Sorry. Okay. And remember, we are silicon is 14, so we're going to have 14 uh, electrons. And I'm going to start writing the chart. And uh, remember, we have 1s2, then 2s2, 2p6. Okay, and I just paused and rewrote it neatly. Remember, we're getting to 14, so we're going to go 1s. Remember, s holds 2. Then we're going to go to 2s2. We're up to 4. Then we're going to go 2p, and we can go 6 because we have plenty. We only are at 4, so we have 10 left. Okay, so we have... 2p6, and then we are at 3s2. Let's see how many electrons we're at. We're at 4, 10, 12, and so now we will go to 3p, and remember it can hold up to 6, but we only need 2. Let's check the math. We have 4, 10, 12, 14. So at ground state, here's the electron configuration. So now let's go by energy level. And we have 2 at energy level 1. 
then we have 8 at energy level 2, and then we will have 4 at energy level 3. And then let's take a look at the um, Bohr model. Okay, and here's the Bohr's model. The S's are going to be green, so we have we have uh, 1S2, okay. Then in energy level 2, we have uh, two S's, and we have six of the P orbitals. And then in the last group, we have um, the two S2s. So we have the two S's, and then we have the two P's. So I hope that was helpful with the electron configuration. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.